Hi, I woke up this morning thinking about a couple things about YBNL that I normally don't mention. So I thought I would let you know in case you haven't figured it out yet. When we go to healing, and it really doesn't matter what modality you go to, there's this typical model, which is that you we go back into our past, look at an event, resolve whatever issues we have with it, and then return to the present moment and be healed. So reducing the effects of individual past events. And as we do that, we peel layers off. So you pull one layer off and then you notice another one. And like, oh, I'm really mad at my mom. I got to let go of that too. That way of, of seeking out events and resolving them and then feeling better, that works. It's okay. But it's never ending because we all have basically an infinite number of unresolved events in our histories depending on how far back you go. And what really gets to be healed, and what I'm providing here is a shortcut, is that mechanism that gets old events to impact us today. Now, there's a difference between learning a lesson and having that impact you consciously versus not learning a lesson and having an old event impact you unconsciously or outside of your control. And while we're talking about healing, that's really what we're talking about is unmasking or undoing the results of past traumas. In YBNL, in Your Body Never Lies, what we do is we look at that mechanism because there is a thread running through all of our traumas. It's the reason that our body holds on to them, and it's the reason that they impact us today. And this thread is that all of those events in our life that we did not like proved the negative thing that we don't like about ourselves. And that's why when something happens to us that we don't like, our ego or our subconscious or whatever you want to call it, it goes, aha, that happened to me because see, this proves that I'm not enough or I'm not good enough or I'm not wanted. And that proves it. And then it's one more weight <laughs> latched on to us. There's a trajectory there. These things snowball. And I'm 55 years old. And believe me, by the time I got 50, <laughs> and I've been done healing for a long time. But, you know, the older things that we're unaware of, they actually impact us the most. And luckily for me, by doing YBNL and unraveling, and this is the beauty, I unravel the mechanism that keeps those old events impacting me today. And, well, two things happen when we do that. But the first thing that happened that I saw is that new impactful events, new traumas do not rest with me. They do not stick around. So I've been through a couple of wildfires, lost houses, had to flee through the woods with trees burning and just crazy. And the next day I'm fine. You know, like crazy stuff can happen now. And, you know, when it's over, I'm no longer holding on to it. And that's automatic. So that's one thing that happens when you unravel that mechanism. The other thing that happens is old unresolved issues that you're unaware of, that you haven't healed yet. They just show up and, and vanish. They just show up and you're like, oh my gosh, that happened to me? <laughs> and then it's gone. And then things fall away. And what happened, you know, what was unresolved for me was physical and sexual abuse that I endured when I was five, six, seven years old. And of course, that was buried. And even though sometimes I was aware of it, I was definitely in denial about how it was impacting me. Now, after doing this program, what's come up for me? Well, one, that those memories don't bother me anymore. But another thing is that all of the ways those traumas impacted me in my relationships, in my dysregulation <laughs> emotionally, um, in my need to lash out or preemptively, um, you know, prevent things from happening that I thought might hurt me. There's a lot of behaviors that I just don't do anymore that I look at my past and go, wow, I did that. You know, wow, I'm glad that programming's gone. And it took no effort because I've already unraveled that mechanism. I, un I showed my body the futility of holding on to old traumas. And then my body said, okay, I won't hold on to them anymore. And what's been going on for the last year or two is that 
these layers have been coming off and what's going on for me right now is that I am learning how to be in the world without that programming created by the fears and, and pains and, and, you know, power differential struggles <laughs> that happened when I was being abused as a, as a child. That's the beauty of YBNL. We're not, we don't really go after individual events. We're not trying to heal such and such and such. You know, there's one event that we look at, our initial traumatic experience of change. And the other events that come up, we can look at them, we can let them go. But really, we look at them just to understand our internal mechanism of why our body holds on to that stuff. Because you know what's not fun is reliving old traumas. And when you do the Your Body Never Lies program and teach your body the futility of its mechanism of holding on to old stuff, then your body just lets it go. And then you do not have to relive those old traumas to heal them. You do not have to talk about them. You do not need to figure them out or wonder what they mean or tell your therapist or anything else because the energy has been held there. It just washes out. And like, who cares? Like, I, you know, yeah, it's unfortunate that I have these things happened to me in my past and it's unfortunate how they impacted me for a long time. But right here, right now, they're not impacting me negatively. And if anything, I'm grateful that I went through that experience so that I can understand this mechanism and share it with you. If you'd like to understand this mechanism, just come to Your Body Never Lies. It's the YBNLcollege.com or yourbodyneverlies.org. Right now, you can sign up for the school for free because I'd like to get some bodies in there. And we're, what we're really doing is gamma testing. So if you'd like to come in and check it out, please do so. You can interact with me, get your questions answered, and re-teach your body what it should do with its traumas. Because this whole holding on thing that your body does, you actually program that yourself. That's really good news. That means that you can undo it. And I'm really looking forward to showing you how. Because then we can all play together in a much funner way funner <laughs> than we do now. And uh, anyway, I'm really looking forward to meeting you and uh, hope to see you soon.